When I was about in the eighth grade, I started programming in Code Academy uh, and uh, I studied some PHP and HTML. I really liked the logic. So overall, I have always liked maths and I have always liked how logical pieces go together. So code was something that you could do it for yourself and it created some value. I'm uh, lazy. Um, I'm a product manager in uh, Verif. Uh, I work with uh, automating uh, the verification process here uh, using uh, machine learning or just other AI technologies. My name is Sandra Schumann. Uh, I work uh, at the University of Tartu. Uh, I am a junior research fellow. In, in other words, uh, I am a PhD student. My research is in uh, robotics and, uh, and education, and more, more specifically, uh, how robotics is taught at universities. I'm Karin Anema, and uh, I'm a software engineer uh, here at Starship Technologies. I applied to be an analyst here at Starship, and here I learned do all sorts of things. As an analyst, I was always looking for uh, different sorts of weird behaviors uh, for our robots. And as I found uh, problems in data and problems in like actual software, I was more more thinking like, why? Like I could do that. Like I could fix that. Uh, so I asked around, okay, if I were to want to fix that, how do I do that? and uh, with some guidance, you know, you learn a lot of things by doing them. It is undeniable that there are not enough women in uh, technological fields. The women that I do see doing uh, robotics, doing work with computers, they are often standing out. And uh, this can be uh, partially because they are women, but also because they are hardworking and talented and uh, they know how to lead a team. They know how to uh, uh, get along with people, and uh, they they are compassionate. In addition to uh, just having really great ideas. In my life, I had doubts, especially when I was younger, that uh, okay, maybe maybe I shouldn't go to science route because all my friends are oh, they're gonna go to this art class. Needing to belong is a very important part of being a human. So I think it's very good if you have this sort of environment where you can like, bring together like-minded girls, where it's very natural to be a girl and do this sort of technical challenges. I think that if you look at all the um, competitions, that uh, is usually standard in, in robot competitions. They are like judo or who is being fastest or like how can I destroy some other robot like the battle bots. So if I'm a girl thinking like I need to like build a robot and put it to battle bots and somebody would scratch my robot or do something with my robot, I would be so sad. So I think like creating a really nice challenge that more mimics what girls like to do uh, rather than what boys like to do like being fast and doing and destroying with the competitor maybe doing some more cooperative challenges uh, i think would bring more uh, girls also in because uh, this is one of the things they usually like to do if you look how more girls play explore everything that you would want to do and don't let anybody stand in your way
Church for coming to Robotex, either virtually or here physically as well. And hopefully we will see you again next year. Thank you very much. I think our